If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. I could take you places you want. My name is Adrian Self, and my lovely guy that I'm escorting is Brayden Hudgens. Hello, my name is Shreya Patel, and I am Charlie Dew's escort. Hi, my name is Naomi Love, and I'm joined with the lovely Eli Sun today. We're going to ask him some questions. Hey, I'm Macy, and I'm escorting my old Colby. Well, hi, I'm Madison Lacey, and this is Sam Baker. Hi. I'm Darcy Condor, and I'm interviewing Max Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Maya Benyus, and I'll be escorting... Leandra Martin. Hi, my name is Sophia Murillo, and I'm Jackson's escort. Hi, my name is Chloe, and I'm escorting Jack. I'm Kara Holub, escorting Jackson Watts. Sure. <laughs> Prospect for the man pageant. Yeah, um, Mr. CCHS, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Ella Summerlin and I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Natty P today. Alright, welcome folks. Uh, you got Tourmeister over here interviewing the notorious Big O.T. If you could get rid of one state, what state would it be and why? If I had to get rid of one state, it would probably be Ohio. Mostly because I don't like Ohio State sports teams. Why do they say we're the Ohio State? What other Ohio State is there? It really bugs me. Probably have to be Ohio, because out of my 18 years on earth, I've never seen anything interesting come out of Ohio. I'd say Wyoming, because there's uh, nothing there and nobody there, and I wouldn't feel bad about it. Probably Wyoming. I just don't think it exists already. Um, if I could get rid of one state, um, probably South Carolina, um, just because nothing really happens there. Um, nothing at all? Really? Nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just, are they on the beach? Is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, they have beaches. Myrtle you know, Beach. Yeah. yeah. Myrtle Beach? Yeah. yeah. Never, Pretty good Never beach. heard of it. What Disney prints are you most like and why? Mm. Well, when I was in seventh grade, I uh, portrayed Prince Charming. Well, I thought we were skipping that, but well, I guess... Um... I mean, if I had to answer for Owen, though, I mean, he's just a classic case of Prince Charming. I mean, look well, at Well, I mean, you Plus know... Plus, they're not the love. Oh, well. Prince Charming. <laughs> the person that I would most physically resemble is John Smith from Pocahontas. I would have to say the Disney prince in Pocahontas, mostly because he has blonde hair and he has a fun hat. Oh, okay. Do you like raccoons? Yes, I do like okay. raccoons. <laughs> I only know one. I think it was Eric. Prince Eric. And why? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Explain. Uh, well, I play Prince Eric, so oh, I have I a close, okay. close relationship. <laughs> Probably move on because uh, for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons, okay. Shang. Is there a reasoning? No, there's it? not. Okay. I believe I'm the most like Flynn Rider from Tangled, just because. Same hair. Same hair. Uh, <laughs> I like to think I'm rebellious, just like he is. Wait, was Simba a prince? Oh. Was, yeah, yeah. I probably, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be Simba, just because he's always walking around, you know, just. <laughs> Having a good time. <laughs> In a movie about your life, who would play you and who would be your leading lady? Uh, well, the problem there is I don't really know actors that well, so we'll go with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and my leading lady would be Kevin Hart. Actually, <laughs> actually switch those around. Oh, you would be Kevin Hart? Okay. Barack Obama would play me, Michelle Obama would play the leading lady. Or Donald Trump would play me and Hillary Clinton would play the leading lady. Okay. okay. Or... Um. Joe Biden would play me, Jill Biden would play the leading lady. Hugh Jackman, um, who'd be my leading lady? I don't know if I'd have a leading lady. I think it'd just be me and uh, as Hugh Jackman. Um, probably Harrison Ford, um, you know, Indiana Jones, Han Solo. That'd, that'd probably be, that's who would play me. And then um, leading lady, who do you think? Is there one person, like one lady that they, that he ends up in movies with, or like, he's usually paired up with? Uh, I don't think so. Well, there was Princess Leia, but I, I don't <laughs> okay. know. 
<laughs> I don't you don't know. like Well, her? also, she's dead now, so. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't have to bring that up. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that, that out. Um, I would have Owen Toms play me, and I would have Scarlett Johansson be my leading lady. I think it's for obvious reasons for both. I mean, you know, I'd say, I could see Tom Holland mm -hmm. playing me in a movie. A little scrawny. Uh, kind of, you know, very white. Very um, white. <laughs> the leading lady... Probably Scarlett Johansson. Oh, why is that? I'd go why with is that. that? Well, you know, I mean, I could just see it. Um, I would have Tom Holland play me, and Scarlett Johansson would be my leading lady. I'd say Tom Holland, and uh, my leading lady would be Jennifer Lawrence. Henry Cavill would play me, and then Margot Robbie would be my leading lady. If you had to write an autobiography about yourself, what would be the title and why? A Promised Land after one of my heroes. Who would that be? Right there. Probably Slim's cookbook. Um, <laughs> you know, it'd be, I have, I'd probably do a mix of like an autobiography and a cookbook. So it'd be like each chapter gets a recipe, um, you know, starts with the recipe, then a little chapter of my life, and it just keep going from there on. Milk jug. A biopic. I don't think it needs an explanation. I'd probably just go with the Eli. Because, you know, it's really short and you can put it like really big. I think that's crazy. There's a certain font you would use. My first instinct is Comic Sans. Uh, it really fits your personality. Yeah. If you could choose one song to play every time you walked into a room for the rest of your life, what song would it be and why? It would be the 10 hour replay of Kelpie G Smooth Jazz. From Spongebob? From Spongebob. It's just the, the calmest, coolest music out there. Well, you know how in Phineas and Ferb, whenever, in every episode when Harry the Platypus, or Agent P as some might call him, um, bursts through the walls of the Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated strange looking building, um, there's a little <laughs> that plays. I want that. That's a tough one, but I'm going to have to go with Dancing Queen by ABBA, just because That's it cool. really hypes everyone up when I walk in the room. Okay. It's everybody in the mood. Well, I want something probably a little more modest than on the nose um, for funerals and weddings. Um, but at the same time, it, I think it would get a little old if I picked something like Pop and Circumstance. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with uh, the Terrier Fight song. If you had a time machine, would you travel to the future uh, or back to the past and why? I'd probably go back to the past and maybe just go watch an old baseball game. You know, go, go see Babe Ruth. Okay. I'd see when I recall this shot. Definitely back to the past. Why? I want to see a dinosaur, man. That's just a very simple answer. What kitchen utensil do you think best describes you and why? Obviously spork. Very, uh, very useful. Uh, definitely a spork for my versatility and um, usefulness in every situation. I would say a spork because I'm very versatile in okay. different situations. I go with a spork because it's uh, very multifaceted. I have I'm a man of many talents um, and I'm good at none of them. I'd say a spatula because I don't know many kitchen utensils. A spatula for no particular reason but I just resonate with a spatula very much. I'm, I'm a fork. It's very versatile but very simple all at the same time. I'm just going to go with a fork. Why is that? That and why is very important. No, it's just a fork. You know, I'd say probably a whisk. You know, I bring things together. You know, to, oh, you know, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, you take a lot of different things, put them together, uh -huh. whisk it in the bowl. I think I'm most like a fish turner. And so for those of you who don't, who don't know what fish turners are, they're like spatulas, except the spatula part is much longer, so it's like a small handle with a metal scoop on it and they're made of thin flexible metal so you can use it to scrape things, flip things, turn fish, and also pick things up because they're they have pores in them so they let things drip. So if you have oily foods, fish turners work really well. If you're frying things, fish turners work great. If you need to flip something, fish turners also work great. Uh, I highly recommend that everyone buys a fish turner because fish turners are the greatest utensil ever made. Oh, and
and it's like me because I'm the greatest person on the earth. If you could interview anyone in the world, whom would you choose and what would you ask them? I would interview Ella Summerlin, my Mr. CCHS escort, of course. I would choose you right now and I'd ask you that exact question just to put you on the hot seat. Solid. I would interview Owen Toms and I would ask him how he came to be such an amazing person. I would interview Kim Jong-un, just the fact that nobody has done it. Very few people have ever even seen him. And I would just ask him, how's the power trip? How does it, it feel to have that much control? If you could live during any other decade, what decade would you choose and why? Um, I think I would definitely choose the 70s. Probably 70s, you know, so I could go to like discos, you know, mm. just like... You'd like the discos? Yeah, yeah, discos, okay. dancing, you know, all the lights and stuff. i just yeah. see how it looks. I'd choose these as intense. Okay, 2010. Yeah. You seem like uh, you were very into uh, yeah. low rise I wasn't pants. There around. So well, it wouldn't be the 90s. I don't. I don't like people from the 90s. It would okay. probably have to be the 2000 to 2030. I would live in the 2030s because there's a lot of cool tech that's just around the corner, and the 2030s would have all of that. What is one piece of advice you would give your younger self? Don't be friends with um, Naomi. I'm Naomi. Okay. So you, so you don't want to like? No, I don't. Want I think we have like a very lovely relationship. Though. Okay, you can think that. I mean, I am your escort. I yeah, feel like but maybe I don't. You shouldn't be. Okay, just go to the next question. Okay, but like I think we should address the answer. There's obviously an elephant in the room. Like, we'll discuss this later. Okay. okay. What is one piece of advice you wish you could give your younger self? Dude, cut the locks. Give them <laughs> up. <laughs> They're not working. Don't do Mr. CCHS. <laughs> 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 the outside's pretty nice. <laughs> if you won a million dollars in the lottery, what would you do with the money? I would probably just... I don't know, just spoil everyone around me. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd probably buy the old high school, you know, like the Boys and Girls Club, and just like live there. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, just, it's a cool Why? building. Um, <laughs> Why? It's a cool building. Um, okay. It's old. You know, it's got Carbondale history, um, lots of space. Or I, I, okay, I probably wouldn't live there. I'd probably I like, gonna... yeah, okay. I would probably just like upgrade it because right now it's kind of like torn down. Mm -hmm. It's all like beat up. Uh, yeah. So I'd probably just upgrade it, you know, um, renovate it, make it into somewhere where everybody can hang out. I would give half of it to charity. Okay. And then I would take the other half and buy a bunch of blow up inflatable swans Oh, and put swans? it in a pool. Yeah. yeah. I can have my own army of inflatable swans. Okay, awesome. <laughs> if you could switch bodies with a celebrity, who would it be and why? Would it be The Rock? He just seems like such a he just seems like such a dude. Probably Scarlett Johansson. Um <laughs> just because, you know, she's married to Colin Jost. Yeah. So that's I mean, I, mean, I, I can't say anymore. Tom Holland. Because he's Spider Man. I would switch bodies with Robert Downey Jr. so that I could be <laughs> pretend to be Iron Man for a day. <laughs> okay. If you were stuck on a private island, what five things would you want to have with you? I wasn't looking forward to this one. <laughs> um, well, you know what? I think your fans were looking really <laughs> forward to this I'm question. I'm sure they were. Me. So, you know, you need, like, you need a pot to boil water in. <laughs> a uh, pot. Okay. Probably, probably a match, match to start some fires. It's a very resourceful young yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, I'm really thinking ahead here. I think you I would, would need, want um, your Mr. CCHS to be resourceful, right? Mm -hmm. I'd want a stage so I can keep performing. Mm. Yeah, um, it's important to us. Yeah, probably a dog. Mm -hmm. Just um, have a dog, yeah. some company. Um, I got one more, don't I? What about your, your rapper co-host over here? Tor yeah, I, I guess Tormeister would be the last one. I would take my four dogs and, <laughs> ooh, and Owen Toms. A shack, a surfboard, a swimsuit, <laughs> sunscreen, and flip-flops. Oh. Uh, probably a, a book so I could keep my wits about me. Probably a table so I could eat some food, um, a chair so I could sit down at the table, and probably a fork and a knife to eat. Okay. No food, but...
Well, well there's, you know, islands. Where there's dirt, there's food. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> if money were no issue, where would you travel and why? I'd say Mars, because it would be cool to explore Mars, but also, more importantly, I get to say that I got there first. Space. Probably space. Probably go to, like the North Pole and the South Pole, like in like one day. New Zealand. I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. New Zealand is beautiful. That's that's my number yeah. one on my bucket list. And travel to Cape Girardeau. <laughs> I've Why? always I've always wanted to go there. Okay. Sounds exotic too. If you could rid the world of one thing, what would it be and why? Naomi. So we're back to the topic of hating Naomi. Mosquitoes. AP exams. If you could be part of any TV show or movie, what would it be and why? Um, definitely It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, the premise of the show is that uh, there's just a lot of people sitting around at a bar and they come up with stupid plans and execute them poorly. And I feel like I'd fit really well into that narrative. You definitely would. Thank you, Adrian. <clears throat> I would be part of the cast of Pretty Little Liars because <laughs> I was not there's some amazing developments in that show. <laughs> you watch? Wait, do you really watch that show? No, I watched a few episodes with my sister, but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, I used to watch it. That's that is just a surprise. We're not gonna lie. Probably Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> I just, I mean, it's the, it's a whole vibe. Mm -hmm. I could, I would just rock that show. Yeah, I think it would be cool. To be a part of one of those old sitcoms like um, Full House or The Brady Bunch or something like that. Um, just because uh, nobody's ever unhappy or unpleasant in that so. I think it'd be an idyllic lifestyle. Please like and subscribe down below.